Greetings everyone and welcome to Baptist Nation. So today we're going to have a quick tutorial that's going to make your life a lot easier in terms of copying your games and your files into your Baptist system. Okay. So for the longest time, whenever I wanted to copy some games into my Baptist system, what I would end up doing was copying into a portable hard drive, my portable hard drive, copy it there, and then hook it up to my Baptist system, and then copy it from there as well. Okay. And for me, that was the easiest way to do things. However, now there's a new feature been added to Bata Center 31 that's going to make it even better and faster than my old method. Let me show you. First thing we need to do is that we need to load up Bata Center, okay? And then I need to change just one little setting, and that's going to make life so much easier. So, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm going to load up right now Bata Center. Okay, so we're in Bata Center. Let's go ahead and press the space bar or the start on your gamepad. And let's go to System Settings. Uh, let's go down to Developer, and this right here. Enable Public Web Access. Turn that on, and when you get out of it, it's going to tell you to, it has to reboot. So just go ahead and let it reboot, and then I'll see you on the computer desktop. Okay, so we're back on desktop. And I've got here a bunch of snap videos that I want to copy to my Bautista system. So you got to make sure the Bautista system is connected to the internet, the Wi-Fi or the Ethernet, okay? So once it's connected, uh, let's go ahead and right here, just type backslash backslash Bautista. Enter. And there it is. You've got your Bautista system right there. Uh, you go to share. So most of the work will be done right here, okay? So, I want to copy some splash videos. Let's just go ahead and select some. I'm going to four or five of them. And just drag it right there. And then I'll start copying. All right, so for small files like this, there's no big deal, right? You can do it through the Wi-Fi connection. However, if you've got a big file like here, which is, this is about uh, size, about four gigabytes or so, uh, you want to copy that into the Bautista Center system. If you do it through Wi-Fi, it's going to take a long time. I want to show you a demonstration. Okay, so I'm about to copy this file, which is about four gigabytes in size, a little over four gigabytes, uh, into my Bautista Center system without the Ethernet cable. You can see that the average speed there is no more than three megabytes per second, okay? Uh, I'm gonna fast forward all this. I've got this on the stopwatch uh, and we'll test how long it took to copy this file. Okay, so it's finished copying. So it turns out, on average, it was about three megabytes per second of the transfer speed. Uh, occasionally, it would hit four. It would never stay there for too long. So on average, it was about three megabytes. So it took about 23 minutes and 53 seconds, almost 24 minutes to copy that file. And now we're gonna compare that by plugging in Ethernet cable to the back of the Bautista Center system and then plugging that the other end to the computer system, right? And we're gonna see the difference in speed. Look at that speed. It's over 100 megabytes per second compared to three megabytes per second. It's averaging about 111 megabytes per second. It's amazing. It's gonna take less than a minute to copy that same file which took 20, nearly 24 minutes without the ethernet cable. So it took 37 seconds, actually almost 38 seconds, 38 seconds versus 24 minutes. It's amazing. So highly recommend getting an Ethernet cable uh, and hooking it up to your Bautista system when you're trying to copy files from your PC to your 
about this other system. Absolutely incredible speeds. Now then, if I try copying that file to a portable hard drive, we can see that the speeds do increase, right? The 34 megabytes per second compared to the wireless connection. Okay. Okay, I'm going to fast forward this and then we'll see how fast this copies it. Okay, we're almost done here. And it took 2 minutes and 41 seconds to copy that same file. So 23 minutes, almost 24 minutes with a wireless connection. And if you copy that into a portable hard drive, it's about 2 minutes and 41 seconds. Now you multiply that by 2, because you got to then copy that into the budget set of system. We're looking at or about five minutes or so, under six minutes to copy the same file, okay? Okay, one final experiment. I've loaded up Win SCP to see how fast the same file will copy using this app, okay? And I've got to connect it to my Ethernet cable. Okay, we can see there it's about 34 megabytes per second or so. And then every time I try to do it, I get this error message. Somehow it gets disconnected. It's a hassle. So our best option is to do it through about this that is new system of copying files. It's the best option. It's the fastest option that we have available now. So go that route. Before we wrap everything up, I got to point out that if you are running about to set off a laptop, it's modern uh, and it doesn't have an Ethernet port. You might want to look into getting a docking station. This is the one I got on Amazon, uh, and it's working quite well. Uh, and you also make sure I got to get one of these Ethernet cable as well. This is the one I got. Okay, I'm going to providing a link there uh, on my video description. So that is a wrap. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and like it. That would really help me out with the YouTube algorithms. If this is your first time with About This Design Nation, I mean, highly encourage you to come to our website, AboutDesignNation.com, and check out the newcomers in the console section. And uh, you can get all the information you need for About to Set Our Systems, all right? Now then, for my next video, I'm going to show you how you can copy your GOG game files from your Windows PC to your about to set a system, okay? So you don't want to miss out. Again, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell button so this way you can get all the latest videos from About to Set a Nation. So again, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time on About to Set a Nation. Bye.